Lanier, you are in first place right now. This game was wild. When we first looked at it, after you guys got out of the opening, we thought, Budapest Gambit. Like, <laughs> what happened here? But it turns out it was a Queen's Gambit accepted that turned into a Gambit in reverse. And then he declined this draw possibility and tried to beat you. Your thoughts about this wild opening? Did you have it all prepared? Yeah, I was, I was looking at this line some time ago. I was trying to remember um, my preparation. Um, during the game. Uh, it's a very interesting line, very dangerous for Black, but uh, unfortunately for him, I mean, I, I, I knew that, uh, that White can play this 92, it's a tricky move. And, um, and uh, yeah, this bishop before is important because I cannot take on a2 after Long Castle. I mean, it looks very dangerous at first for, for White because all Black's pieces are, uh, are developing with tempo almost. And, uh, but the point is that here, if you take on a2, I think uh, bishop c4 is good for white. And uh, then I have some issues with my knight on g4 once uh, white uh, develops. So this bishop before, um, it's, it's the best move. And then it's all by force, a3 takes, takes, bishop b3. And okay, white can make a draw here, or queen c3, of course, is possible. But then this uh, takes and rook d8 and rook d5, it's very important because I'm uh, not only threatening to, yeah, to regain my pawn, but also in some lines I can go rook a5 and I start uh, attacking his uh, weak pawns. So yeah, it looked, I mean, it was very sharp, but uh, unfortunately it, it all came down to this uh, position, which is more or less a draw, I think. Was there a novelty you played, or was uh, it something that was already I'm done? not sure which, uh, what's the novelty in this game, but uh, somehow I kind of, I mean, we, we both obviously knew the, the line. Uh, it's, it's a rare line. Uh, I don't know if uh, um, bishop, if bishop of four is a novelty or which one is it, but it's, it's, all, it's all very logical, and, and I think it's the best play what we did. Is it because white played for this queen a4, queen c4 line that exposed this queen and gave you a chance? Because you know, yeah, of course. If you could always do this with black no, against well, the queen's gambit, then you just do it and laugh. Right, so queen a4 and queen takes c4 is what gives black this chance to, to play five, give a pawn, and then in many, in many lines you, you, you go bishop e6 with tempo, and then you maybe you win some other tempo. Uh, thanks to the white, uh, white's uh, queen, so that's the, that's the idea of the line. So essentially don't take the pawn back with your queen if you're, if you're looking to get advantage against the queen's gambit accepted. And yes. why is the move g5? Uh, 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 when you see the g5 move and, and you know the Budapest, you're often thinking, oh, I understand the move g5. You're right. trying to put the bishop here, yes. which wasn't the plan at all. Well, in some lines it was, like for example, after queen a5 check, uh, he can also play knight c3, and I think uh, one of the points is that, uh, yes, that here if I take on e5, there's queen e4, and, and with g5, bishop g3 included, uh, I have bishop g7 at the end of the line, so I, I had this idea to, I mean, black can use the g7 square for the bishop in some ah. lines. And then black is ready to go f5, f4, or something like that. Yeah, there was a nice variation that Marisa also pointed out that yeah. moves like f4, <laughs> this would be f4 very, is, very painful uh, for the first player. Nice, nice. So knight d2, so this was all, well, I mean, and I just had one quick question for you, uh, Lanier. In this ending, uh, I was trying uh, h4 and the game uh, very, very sharp draw. I was trying to include the move e4. Yes, e4 is also possible, yeah. I and thought rook a5 and, and, and now h4. h4, right? Yeah, this was also possible, yeah. And any changes? I thought I can play h6, but uh, I don't know if bishop c4 first. But h6 takes, takes. And if rook h5, I think I have uh, bishop c4. Uh huh. A little bit worried about this lineup of pieces, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, king f3. Yeah. Uh, but then I. Uh, uh, you can take takes. and take. Well, okay, yeah. You might be getting that very same ending that yeah, you got in the game. Yeah, something very similar, right? I think, yeah. would happen, yeah. 
Well, for you, uh, nice day at the office. Your your games with Black have been impeccable. Uh, I like what you've done so far. You must too. <laughs> You're in first place, clear yes. first after all. Well, maybe not for long. Yeah, I mean, uh, not for long Maxine indeed. As Maxime is about to <laughs> win yeah. his game. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us, and good luck in the rest of your games. Thank you. Thank you.